before I forget it! <laughs> oh, he's up to something again. <laughs> ha! A real T-Rex! Okay, that's interesting. Huge teeth, cardboard hmm? legs, wheels, motor... Uh, um, uh, Mr. Genius Scientist, what did you invent today? There you are, my faithful assistant. Mm -hmm. We need to build a robot dinosaur. <gasps> That's a brilliant idea, Sammy. Let's do it. Who's gonna make the first cardboard mechanical T-Rex if not us? <laughs> Hi, guys. I dreamt of an incredible craft last night. Hello. Yes. And today we're making a robot T-Rex out of cardboard. It can click its teeth and stomp its feet. Susie, that was my line. I invented the dinosaur. Oh, sorry, Dr. Genius, but we're going to make this craft together. Oh, uh, I forgive that little mistake. Oh, thank you. Oh, the greatest. <laughs> Guys, we'll need three cardboard sandwiches like these. I wish I could eat them. I like their circular shape. The radius of each circle detail is three centimeters. The inner part is slightly smaller. I'll tell you why later. While these details have a very small radius. Radius? It's like Eureka! <laughs> Actually, radius is a segment between the circle's center and any point of its edge. Don't you know that, Sammy? I know, Sue. I'm a scientist, but I like my version more. Anyway, I'm here to tell you I made the same sandwich detail. Here it is. Just in time, because I've started making the first mechanism part. Are you making a top? Did you forget about the robot T-Rex? Not at all. It's the detail of our mechanism. I just want to make sure you don't mess things up. Guys, give a thumbs up if you're sure I am not going to mess up this craft. Yeah, I think I'm a nerd, but I made two details for the mechanism designed by me. No, Sammy, you're not a nerd. You're a scientist. All scientists are a little peculiar. You forgot one more circle. This one. I was testing your attention. You passed the test. Two. I cut and color the details for the dinosaur's body as I planned. Our mechanism's gonna work properly if the details are the right size. I measured everything with my cool professor's ruler. <laughs> I think you're a megalomaniac. <laughs> I am, Sue. I'm a great inventor. Oh, are you gonna make tiny shakes? I guess your genius makes you forgetful today. There. And there. Great. We're making a robot T-Rex. And these straws are the details required. Yeah, no, Sue, you're great in upgrading my ideas. Oh, how nice of you, Professor Sam. Guys, do you invent things? Tell us about your projects in the comments. Most of our cardboard mechanisms run on elastic bands. These ones will make the details spin in sync. Connect them this way. By the way, remember how I told you about the grooves in the wheels? They're needed for the bands. This way they don't slip off. Now, let's fix this detail. The way the sticks enter the straws. Perfect! Sammy, may I ask your professor highness to bring me a glue gun? You're welcome, partner. <laughs> Did you notice how Sam becomes very strange when we're making a craft that's his idea? <laughs> Give a thumbs up to our genius scientist. Here, the body's almost ready. This will be the upper piece. It will hold the toothy T-Rex head. While this piece will open its mouth. Sammy, where'd you go? The inner mechanism is almost done. Don't you want to check it? I trust you, Sue. There's something super incredibly scientific going on in my lab. Phew. Finally, he trusts me.
Let's move on to the next stage. We're going to make the chassis, consisting of the legs and a motor which will move them. I drilled the holes in these wooden pieces. The holes should be about 2 centimeters far from each other. The details must be directed upwards. So, I made a discovery! If you put Nutella on an Oreo and cover it with another cookie and eat it all, you get first with joy! <laughs> Sorry! I don't think they'll give you the Nobel Prize for that. Why? Isn't it the discovery of our age? Alright, so tell me, what do they give the prize for? Well, there are five nominations. Physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, and peace. I think my discovery fits all of the nominations. Hmm, prove it. In the meantime, I'm going to glue this cute motor. Okay, physics. Nutella provides attraction between cookies. Chemistry. Molecules of the cookie and Nutella mix in my mouth and create a great taste. That sounds right. Huh? Medicine, sweets lighten up your mood. And you can write a poem about it. What about peace? Doesn't need explanations. Sweets are goodness, and goodness is a peaceful world. <laughs> you should write a paper about it while I'm finishing our craft. Guys, do not forget to be careful working with a hot glue gun. Also, you can always ask an adult to help you. By the way, which invention do you think is the most important in the world? Write in the comments. And we'll need two cardboard legs like these. And feet, of course. Sammy, I need your help. Bring me more straws, please. Just a moment. I even cut them for ya. Thank you. Also, can you make a head for the dinosaur? You spoke so much about sharp teeth. Making teeth is a delicate, creative work. Plus, only you know how this T-Rex should look like. Meanwhile, I'm adding a little glue with this syringe. It needs patience. Did I become your assistant, Susie? Anyway, as usual. Sammy, what do you mean? You just know better what to do. <laughs> Guys, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. Sammy's always happy to see new subscribers. Fixing these little wooden details. And... Done. I thought I'd forgotten the robot from my dream, but it's unforgettable. This is a secret detail of the head. The upper cardboard layer is cut in the middle. Up. Let's glue the cube. Now, I only need to make terrifying sharp teeth. Well, Sammy, how's the head? Rawr! Um, which head? <laughs> hey, I'm talking about the robot's head. Let's fix it onto its place. Right here. And now I'm going to put a button into this hole. Perfect. Oh, I guess Sam left it here. Don't forget to subscribe! Did you see my message? Yes, Sammy, and I already reminded the viewers to subscribe. And to hit the bell not to miss any of our new videos! Look, Sammy. All the mechanisms are going to be on display. And hop! Huh? Oh, I can spend hours watching it. So that's an old battery. I was gonna give it for recycling. It'll be useful. It'll help our robot keep balance while walking. Brilliant. The student surpasses the master. All right, I guess you're ready. Although, something's missing. Are you ready? I can't wait to see my creation! Oh! Sammy! Uh, could you please wash the dishes? Ah! I'm so upset! I don't have a minute to relax! Sammy, what's 
What's going on? I washed the dishes three days ago. Oh, really? I should do it myself and you can go ahead and make a hero medal for yourself? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just this and that. And someone gave our video a thumbs down. I'm totally stressed out. Sometimes I want to be a chameleon to merge with the walls and disappear from all my problems. Oh, yes, Sammy. It seems like you need something to de-stress and keep calm. Wait, did you say you like chameleons? Yeah, so what? Well, I won't make you into a chameleon, but soon you'll get your own chameleon anti-stress toy. Oh, I can already feel my nerve cells restoring. Hi, guys. Today we'll make an Automata Chameleon Anti-Stress Toy. Many people surely need something to keep calm. Right, Sammy? True. What do we start with? Well, I started a while ago, and now I'm cutting out the fourth template of our chameleon. By the way, I painted the cardboard green. Fourth? Why do we need so many, and when did you manage to do it? <laughs> While you were stuck with your phone, I already made these templates. What do you think? Awesome! Do we need to glue them? Yep, but first we paint them and then glue them together. To make the anti-stress toy, you need to stress out a bit at work. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't stuck on my phone for nothing. Oh, really? Well, tell me more about it. I read a couple of interesting facts about our main character. We have to know who we're crafting. Did you know that chameleons can roll their eyes independently from each other? And look in different directions, so our chameleon can simultaneously watch Cookie and Fluffy! Oh, this is some good knowledge, Sammy! And I finished gluing the first part, and now we'll need a twisted pin! Wow, Sue, are your fingers trained so well that you can bend metal now? <laughs> no, why risk your fingers if we have pliers? So, what is the wooden skewer for? If you read about the chameleons, you probably also learned that they have a long tongue! Huh. They have a tongue. They should also have legs. Actually, together with the second skewer, this tongue forms the main functional mechanism of our toy. I'll show it now. So here, by controlling the skewer inside the chameleon, we can also control the tongue and stick it out back and forth. But our anti-stressed animal urgently needs legs. Theory really had a positive impact on you. <laughs> the first leg is glued. Well, I'll finish it. Ugh. Then I will start creating the box for our chameleon to sit on. So guys, it's time to start working on the main mechanism. The main mechanism? Did I miss something? Here, the chameleon now looks more real. Oh! Is that a magic wand? Hawthorne and Phoenix Feather? It is almost magical indeed, and it'll play an important role in our mechanism. Very soon, I'll show you why I made two holes in it. But first, we'll glue it to the cardboard part with two holes. Which I already made. Lengthwise and round holes. I wish it worked with the dishes the same way. So now we need to glue these two cardboard walls. Am I wrong or is it time for some magic? Well, why not? Hop. There you go. It's a pity you can't do the same with dirty dishes, right, Sammy? Okay, okay, so I'll wash them. That's better. Let's glue our cardboard very close to the lengthwise hole. And here is the fourth wall. You didn't forget about it, did ya? Nope, I was just about to glue it. Sue, so, did you know that there are around 160 types of chameleons? Almost half of them live in Madagascar. Oh, I can imagine that the local insects aren't very happy to have so many chameleons hunting them. <laughs> So our base is ready. Let's hurry up and set our chameleon there. I already applied glue to its feet. Yes, let's do it. Our chameleon is already tired of waiting. Uh, I guess I got a little sticky. I'll leave you for a couple of minutes. Okay, we're almost at the final stage. So guys, I made a double lever for our mechanism from a popsicle stick, a round cardboard piece, and a wooden skewer. We just need to chop off the edge of the popsicle stick a bit and glue everything. Huh. And uh, what kind of weird construction is that? Do you remember that we made something for the chameleon to move? This is the same thing. There we go. Are you saying we'll have to reach inside the toy every time and press the stick so the chameleon sticks out its tongue? <laughs> no, no, no. Soon you'll see. I already told you that this is an automatic toy. Here, the lever is working. Yep, and if we had to reach inside the toy all the time, this wouldn't be an anti-stress anymore. <laughs> right. And um, thank you for the part I'm gluing now to the round hole. You're welcome, but what's it for? It's a podium for the chameleon's prey it's gonna hunt. <laughs> and this part is for prey as well? Right. Let's insert it here. 
And here is the actual prey. Oh, poor thing. But it's the law of nature. It can't be helped. We just need to glue a small magnet so the mechanism runs like clockwork. Whoa! I can't wait to see this clock! Our toy will function this way. The chameleon doesn't know it, but there's another hunter already! Oh, thanks. I need the compasses. So much for the hunter. Okay, now we need to make the mechanism for our toy to work automatically. And the hunter's back! To make this an automatic toy, we'll need several cardboard wheels. I won't even try it anymore. Here, our spinning mechanism is almost ready. It reminds me of a music box a bit. It also spins the same way. Yes, Sammy, it really looks like one. We'll spin the characters of our animal world this way, but we'll set this part aside for now and work on this one instead. And why do we need it? Well, this part with the cut edge will spin and control one of our toys. So we need another one like this? I'll do it! Great! Just make the same exact part. So guys, we're almost finished with our automatic anti-stress toy. Now we need to attach the second part, which Sam made. One controls the chameleon and the other one the prey, right? Yes, Sammy, correct. A little later, we'll glue both wheels to make sure they stay on the same spot and don't slide. In the meantime, we'll cover the hole with another cardboard piece. Oh, so many round parts. It's important not to confuse them. Yes, it's because we have a spinning mechanism. We can't do without circles. So I prepared the chameleon's eyes. Oh, let's glue them right away. These are the final touches. Up. By the way, Sue, a chameleon's tongue can stretch out to the length bigger than its own body. That's why it's so good at catching prey. It's the same with our toy, Sammy. I wonder how the tongue fits into the chameleon's mouth. It rolls like a paper scroll. <laughs> A chameleon's tongue catches insects in a fraction of a second. No wonder the prey looks scared. Whoa! Now we'll add a bit of decor. Right. Beauty is best for dealing with stress, Susie. What a wise thought, Sammy. When you study nature, you can't help getting wiser. For example, I understood that time is relative. Fussing, gluing, and I was serene as ever. Yes, yeah, Sammy, it's good that you got into a philosophic mood only right now. Otherwise, you would stay serene throughout the craft while I was busy working. But I'm happy you helped me. Thanks to you, we created this craft super quick. <laughs> Here you go. And we're almost done. One more finishing touch. Faster than a chameleon's tongue! So, Susie, shall we launch the chameleon? Here we go! Watch this forever, Sue. And now let's test the real work of our anti-stress toy. I don't get it. We just tested it. <clears throat> Sam, wash the dishes, please. Yes, sure. We'll do now. And what's with that testing? <sighs> we did it just now. No stress anymore. All oh, right. But to get rid of stress for good, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Yes, guys. Thanks for watching it till the very end. Try making this toy yourself. It'll be a great addition to your desk. And subscribe to our channel so you won't stress out because you missed one of our videos. And I'm off. Time to wash the dishes. Oh, yeah. It's definitely an amazing toy. Bye-bye.